Hi, everybody. Uh, this video is going to show you how you can use Microsoft Flow uh, mobile buttons to make your life easier. And basically, uh, what I'm going to show you today is how we can, just with one press of a button, uh, go out, get all the responses from a Microsoft Forms form, and have uh, those responses sent as an Excel sheet uh, to anybody um, as an email, as an attachment, uh, or you can send a share link as well if you're not for attachments. So either way, I'm going to show you both today. Um, you could also do, instead of Microsoft Forms, um, SharePoint or Google Forms. Uh, so do what's best for you. I'm going to show Forms just because it's a little bit uh, more complicated. So, uh, and we have to do two parts uh, for Flow with Forms, whereas with SharePoint, I was able to do just one Flow. So um, let's go ahead and get started with Flow. Uh, so to get started, you already need your Microsoft Forms. I've got one here. Um, and you're going to need an Excel file. Uh, and that Excel file should um, have a table in it with all of your questions as column headers. So for example, we have question one, question two, oops, let's see if I can spell today, question two, uh, and then drag and highlight the table that it would be, and then make sure you do insert table and my column has, or my table has headers. So as long as it looks like that and it's formatted like a table, we can save it to your personal OneDrive. I've already got one there, so I'm not going to save another. Uh, and then we're good to go. So uh, to get started, back in Flow here, uh, we're going to look for the trigger that's Forms. And then when a new response is submitted is the correct one. And find the form and do a new step. And this is going to be um, an apply to each situation. So the list of response notifications goes there. And then add an action. So add an action is insert row. And it's the Excel one for me. It might be Google Sheets or something else for you. And then find that file that we just put in our personal OneDrive. Last I checked, we couldn't do this in business yet. And then table name should only be one option there unless you have a complicated uh, response sheet. And then, um, oh yeah, so before we do insert row, let's add an action here. And we're going to say, get response, that should be enough, yep, get response details. And then the unique identifier of the form, so the form name, and then the identifier should pop in here now, response ID. Now when we come down here to color, we should have the questions. So I've got what do you like better for color, middle name, uh, let me move this here, let's see your middle name, and then rating, how would you rate the survey? I just tried every question type. And birthday, what is your birthday? There we go. So when a new response is submitted, uh, put the data in an Excel sheet. That's really all we need for that. So we're going to create that. And we're done. We'll go back. We'll create another one. Oops. OK, and this one we're going to call part two mobile button test. Now this one is the actual mobile button. So for trigger here, either search for button or find it there suggested. Manually trigger a flow. We don't need an input for this. We'll do new step. And then we're going to do a couple things. You only need to do one of them. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to both get a share link and attach it in case one of those is better. So if you want the share link, do add an action and then just search for share link. And then make sure it's OneDrive personal here, not for business. And then for file, we're just going to find that same one we just updated. And this one's not going to be limited by Excel, so it might be a little harder to find. The link type, you can do view, edit, embed, or direct. I'm going to do view. And anonymous is fine, but you could limit it to your organization. So that's how you get the share link. Uh, the next step is if you want to attach it, so add an action. And then search for get file content. And then find that regular OneDrive instead of OneDrive for business. So get file content. And then for the unique identifier, you can just use the folder here and find that file one more time here. OK, so now we're ready to send the email. So a new step, add an action. Then I'm just going to search for email. And in case you're not in the cloud, I'm not going to do Office 365. I'm just going to do regular mail here. 
and then two. I'm just going to send it to myself for testing, but you could uh, pull that in from a form maybe, or you could um, send it to a number of people using semicolons between them. A subject is going to be current responses to date. And you could put like the form name or something and then email body. Please see attached or the link below for all responses today. And then this accepts some code. So I'm just going to put a couple breaks in there. And then see over here on the right, we've got this uh, web URL option now because we got the share link. So just put that in there. And then uh, for advanced options, this is where we put the attachments. So do advanced options, and then we have to do both attachment and attachment file name. So attachment, um, we're going to do file content. And attachment file name, we can put anything. I'm just going to put results. Just make sure you put the extension .xlsx. All right, so when they push the button, it's going to create a share link and get the file and send that to someone. So that's that part. So the first thing we have to do um, is actually have some responses. So here's my form. I'm just going to come in here, put in some test data, all these different question types, hit submit, and then we'll go ahead and test one more here. and submit. So on your mobile device, you should be able to go um, into form, or into flow, sorry, and go to buttons, and then see your new button there. So uh, once that loads, it may take a little bit. Um, we're just going to go ahead and push it. Uh, you could also just test it by doing this run now, uh, which is going to simulate pushing the button, but it's going to ask you additional questions, so it's not quite the same experience. Um, but so you can see it easier. I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. Uh, but you could just push it on your phone. I'll do continue here and then run flow. And done. So we're just going to wait for that to run. Uh, it's going to, well, that's pretty quick. One second, not bad. And then I'm going to check my email. And then I've got this new email. It's got the attachment down below. It's also got the link. I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly there. Um, the link, we should have put code in there to make it a live link. It's just um, text right there. And then I'll open the attachment, and I see both responses there. So it's pretty handy. Um, people can do it whenever they need it. They're in the middle of a meeting, need a report of current things. I'm going to go ahead and paste that link and see if it works. OK, so this is the share link that we made. It's loading here. And we've got both responses there. So both ways work. We can send a link to somebody. We can send them the attachment. And it's all just by pushing one button to get the most current data. And this really comes in handy. We're using it in the SharePoint environment to um, whenever we want uh, to get data that falls between a certain range. Uh, we just push a button. And then we get the current week's data looking back historically. So. Um, you can do that as well. It's a lot easier with SharePoint. Uh, you can do it all in one flow. It triggers the flow. You would get SharePoint items uh, and build in a condition just saying if it meets uh, certain criteria. Uh, and then we do the same thing. You can attach that uh, Excel file to an email, send them a link. Uh, so good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to comment.